Once upon a time in Africa, Sandy the ostrich lived in the grasslands of Africa with a group of zebras. They all lived like one big family. They slept, played and ate together. One sunny morning, Aunt Sandy was sitting on her eggs. There were ten large glossy eggs with pits on them. With the warmth of a body, the egg would hatch after a few days. Soon my little ostriches will come out, Sandy thought. Just then, Robbie, the young zebra, came running. Good morning, Sandy aunt. Can I play with Dona? Robbie asked. Robbie had named the largest egg Dona. It was his favorite egg. Yes, you can play with Dona. But don't forget, it is an egg and not a ball, said Sandy. Robbie spent hours with Dona every day. He was waiting for the day when a little ostrich chick will come out of the egg. Robbie put some twigs around the egg to make it look like a little ostrich. Hello, my little Dona. Wake up. It is morning, Robbie said. Sandy laughed. It is not so tiny, Robbie. It is one of the largest egg, bigger than 12 eggs of a hen put together. Sandy smiled. Okay, my dear Dona, how big are you today? Robbie asked. It is ten days old, Robbie, Sandy smiled. Robbie was excited. Yippee, only thirty days are left for the eggs to hatch. Sometimes it takes some more days to hatch, Sandy smiled. No worries, I will wait. Then Dona and I will play. Robbie was excited. Dona will take some days before it begins to play with you, Robbie. She will be too small and weak, Sandy told Robbie. For some months, I will keep her under my wings to protect her from sun and rain. But in six months, she will be as big as me, Sandy explained. Wow, then she will run as fast as you. But tell me, Aunt Sandy, my mom says you are a bird, but I have never seen you flying, asked Robbie. Sandy laughed. Yes, I am a bird who cannot fly. I am too heavy. I am the heaviest bird in the world. I am also the tallest and largest bird. That is why I can run very fast, Sandy explained with pride. Now Robbie was feeling thirsty. He drank some water from the pond nearby. He brought some water for Dona too. It is so hot here, Dona. You must be thirsty. Have some water, Robbie said. Sandy laughed. An ostrich doesn't drink water. We get water from the food we eat. But we do like playing with water. Sandy splashed some water on Robbie. They both laughed and splashed. I will play splash splash with Dona when she grows up. Then we will together go grazing. We both will eat the green grass and leaves. Robbie was now dreaming. Dona would like to eat insects and rats also. Will you help her find some? asked Sandy. Robbie did not reply. He was fast asleep. Yes, he was sleeping while standing. Sandy laughed looking at him. Suddenly she stopped. With her long neck, she could see from far a lion coming. Run, there is a lion. She warned all the zebras and ostriches. All the animals ran to hide. There is a lion coming. Hide, Robbie, hide. Sandy shouted. Robbie woke up with a start. Sandy lay down to hide in the tall grass. Robbie ran towards the egg. He put some grass over the eggs, but it was too late. From behind the tall grass, he saw a lion appear. Robbie was scared to see the lion. The lion took a step forward. Robbie. Please don't touch the eggs. You can eat me if you want. Robbie's voice was shaking. Sandy stood up. Don't worry, Robbie. My legs are strong to fight even a lion. Sandy stared at the lion angrily. With all her might, she kicked the lion with her legs. The lion fell on the ground. He was now furious. Roar! He got up and marched towards Robbie. All the other zebras came running. They made a circle around Robbie and Sandy. 
The lion looked at the big family of zebras and ostriches. He realized it was not a good idea to attack them right now. He quietly turned around and ran away. Robbie cheered, hip hip hooray. He removed the grass to look at the eggs. Dona, your mom is very strong. She kicked the lion hard and made him run away, said Robbie excitedly. Sandy bent down and said, Dona, your friend is also very brave. He loves you a lot. He was more worried about you than himself. Sandy hugged Robbie. After 30 days, the eggs hatched. Out of the largest egg, a tiny ostrich came out. Robbie was thrilled to see its tiny beak. He ran all over the forest telling the news of Dona's birth. As Dona grew up, Robbie and Dona became good friends. They went out to graze in the fields together. They bathed in the pond together and played games. In the evening, Robbie recited the story of the lion who had come to their herd one day. Dona loved the story of bravery of her mom and her best friend. She never got bored of listening and Robbie never got bored of telling.